welcome and welcome back to Monica Cultist Tarot. I'm Amira. We're going to be doing a weekly reading for you here. We'll take a look at the beginning of the week, the middle of the week, and towards the end of the week, just to see how things will progress and uh, anything that you'll need to be prepared for or, or aware of, okay? This is a general reading, of course. So just be mindful of that, as well as the fact that timing is fluid. Every reading is not for everybody, and everyone's trajectory is different. So just keep that in mind as you watch this reading and any others, Taurus, okay? Also, as always, use your own insight, intuition, and judgment as you follow along with me. Anything you're wanting to know about me or my channel will be in the description box, okay? I hope that you guys will find that something here resonates with you. If you're not already subscribed, I invite you to do so at this time. Thank you so much to those of you who are subscribed to my channel, um, who like the videos here on the channel. I appreciate your love and support, I really do. It means a lot. Well, let's see, what do we have for Taurus, please? Thank you. All right, Taurus, towards the beginning of the... What is this, y'all? You have the full card, okay? Literally says new beginning. This week is no joke, okay? So, with the full cards... Oops, excuse me, goodness. Dropping stuff. <laughs> with the full card, Taurus... Um, you may have to take a risk here, my dear, and I know risk <laughs> is not your friend, okay? I'm a Taurus moon and Venus, so trust me, I get it, I get it. We like our comfort zone, but the full card here asks for you to take a risk of some sort, okay? Maybe small and maybe big. We're going to take a look here and look um, more into it. Some of you may be literally exploring or going somewhere new. Tell me more about the full card, please, for Taurus. I feel like, Taurus, you um, have your walls up, okay, to a certain situation. Um, <laughs> it's interesting. I, I, I'm saying that, but I feel like uh, um, there's more here to be done to, to kind of shut the door and leave that thing in the past fully. Okay, you may be avoiding something here. Okay. What is this about? Let's see. Three Cups, King of Swords, and the Chariot. You have Aries and um, Cancerian energy showing up here. <laughs> what the heck is this about? There's someone showing up here, Taurus, that doesn't belong. Whatever that means, right? Um, but in this three of cups, which it can, the three of cups can, can oftentimes depict, um, someone who doesn't belong, right? Okay. Three is a crowd sometimes for some people. I mean, unless you're into that kind of thing, right? However, um, which side is it? This girl right here, I don't like how she's looking. Okay. Um, this could be a friend. This could be a significant other. This could be a family member. And especially with this energy right next to the King of Swords, um, I do. I, like I said, I feel like there's something or somebody that doesn't belong that needs to be behind that wall that you're kind of building, you know. Um, not to say that the wall is negative in any way. I don't feel like it is. I just feel like there needs to be a separation between your old life and your new life, right? And the chariot card here is an indication of victory of success, but it's also an indication of someone who um, is determined, okay? It's it's like um, the energy here is of, of needing to know exactly um, where you're going and that's what will take you there, okay? Needing to know exactly what to leave behind and what to bring with you because that's another thing with the full card the full usually only has this little itty bitty knapsack okay and uh if you can't fit in the knapsack then you can't come okay <laughs> that's it that's all and so that's what's showing up for you at the beginning of the week there may be a person place or a thing um some of you like i said are literally traveling here especially with this chariot card showing up new destination okay 
new destination. I'm seeing you in the car, windows down, top down if you have it like that, um, and moving forward, okay? Leaving something or someone in the dust. It really feels like travel. Some of you may also be traveling to see family as well. Yeah, okay, here we are. Three of Swords here showing up for you in the middle of the week. So whatever you've left behind, okay, it may cause an argument. It may, it may there may be some discord. There may be some pain on, on your side and on this other person or, or what have you. Um, and it's funny, I actually just kind of posted about this on my Instagram not too long ago. Um, the thing with the full card is it's a risk, okay? Um, and there may be some consequences if you're not ready or if other people feel feel like you're not ready. And, and sometimes a part of those consequences is not getting along, along with someone else who feels like you shouldn't have taken that risk or you shouldn't have made that move or you shouldn't have made that decision for yourself and your life. You get me? Yourself and your life. And so sometimes those consequences are necessary. Although they may be painful, you may feel a loss. They may feel a loss. You know what I mean? Um... But I promise you there are brighter days, okay? So towards the middle of the week, there may be some, um, uh, uh, um, it feels mostly like arguments, which is fine, okay? <laughs> it is what it is, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of you are definitely leaving. And like I said, there's absolutely an argument here, perhaps with um, another earth sign, but really in this queen of coins, queen of pentacles energy, um, I really feel like there is a big lifestyle change here where you're going to have to kind of um, take back your energy. Okay, you have the Eight of Cups here, the Five of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. There's definitely some drama. All right, just be prepared. There's definitely some choice words. Um, but there's also you understanding that whatever was back there was not your nine of cups and you're, you're like, you're like, I have to go find it, you know, one way or another, I have to go find it. And that's a beautiful energy. Whoever is upset about it or, or, um, not believing in you, you know, maybe again, they just can't fit in that knapsack. And so they have to stay behind that wall. I really feel like you're leaving people behind this wall that we see in the full card. Okay. They're behind the brick wall and they can't get through and know that. Be confident in that as well. All right. End of the week. Yeah, we have the temperance card. Okay. Beautiful. It says patience in this particular deck. Temperance card absolutely calls for patience. It also calls for um, moderation. Um, I feel like there could very well be a... a um, some sort of compromise that comes in here towards the end of the week but more than anything this is also you Taurus needing to um, exercise patience okay with this particular your cards are just wanting to fly out with this particular um, energy who is trying to fight you on something okay so let's see tell me more and you know it again the, the thing with the temperance card right it brings a sense of peace and restoration to self um and the temperance card also like clears up and heals up what needs to kind of be restored okay because after the death card when when we leave things in the dust when when things change when freaking we lose a finger okay if that's what you need to <laughs> if that's what needs to die in that death card energy temperance card comes in to figure out how am i going to work without a finger now or is my finger going to grow back take the time to be patient and allow my finger to grow back or take the time and be patient and figure out how to work with out that finger anymore metaphorically okay you're not losing a finger i'm just saying this calls for patience okay that was a whole rant tell me more about the temperance card please for tourists what do they need to know here four of wands yeah <laughs> the empress and the queen of um wands and you have the temperance card showing up again here at the bottom of the deck temperance card is typically represented by um an angel okay so just also understand that you are um you're gonna come to a place of stability here 
uh, after this pain. It also shows up here with the Four of Wands. Not only is this Four of Wands representative of um, freedom, okay? It's also you achieving whatever it is that you set out to achieve. And so if you were concerned about um, this other person, Taurus, I would say it's unnecessary, okay? For some of you, this may be a mother figure or someone who you have children with, all right? Um, but you're needing to be confident in this situation in regards to what decision you're making for your life, okay? Let me get a Moonology card before we close out. See what messages we get from the moon. We have a full moon this week. Wonderful, wonderful times <laughs> of emotions and illumination, okay? What do you have for Taurus, please? This person is, is feeling like you, um, they're feeling isolated, like, you, yeah, yeah, like you shut them out. And that's why I keep seeing in, in this brick wall and even in this three of swords is like this woman is, is in a cave, literally, by herself. Can I pick the card up? No? All right, we'll leave it there. <laughs> um, but that's what they're feeling like. All right, you have conclusions are within reach. All right. Full moon eclipse conclusions are within reach. So, um, and a part of that conclusion, Taurus, is you um, taking a risk going on a journey. It is, okay, whether physically or metaphorically. Um, there's a need here for you to go on a journey and not really be concerned about the consequences, you know, because sometimes the consequences are worth it. They are. Okay. Taurus, this is the message I have for you guys. I really hope that it helps as you move forward and make decisions in your life. Please, guys, don't forget to like the video, share the love, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time for the next one.